Hello YouTube, welcome to the video today. If you don't know, I stream live on twitch.tv and I do this thing sometimes and we're doing it today. And if you would like to watch it, make sure to check me out on twitch.tv. However, if you prefer watching YouTube, I don't blame you. Just don't forget to like and subscribe and to tell your mom. Over the last few weeks, I've gotten more followers, 100,000 to be exact, and maybe they don't know me. So I'm here. I'm as I'm and I'm and we're going to be answering some questions so you can get to know me. If I skip, I will be spinning this wheel here that has different things I'll have to do. But I don't think I will have to skip any of these because I'm very open and honest. Let's go next question. How did me and Point Crow become friends? Great question. People definitely wanted to know this. Point Crow was sub to me for a, a while, and I thought he was just a, a, a Ludwig leech, if I'm being 100% honest, because he'd always come in and compliment Ludwig, and I was like, man, another one of these. And uh, then I called him out for it, and then he was like, I'm not a Ludwig leech. I think you have cool content. And I was like, oh, I feel like a dick now. And so then I was like, do you want to play Portal together? Because I felt like a dick. And he was like, yeah. And then we played Portal together and we became friends. Smiley face. So that is how I became friends with Point Crow. Next question. What's your favorite gift sub alert? Other people's I like Miss Kiff's sub alert the best because it has the cute little peepos. Oh, Nick and Milena's. Nick and Milena's gift sub alert is the best because they do a little dance. Stay on. <laughs> Left. <laughs> All right. Floss. I don't know how to floss. I don't know how to floss. I've never learned. Break it down. Break it down like this. Why do you freaking out outside? Floss it. Amazing. You're yes. good at flossing. <laughs> <laughs> Next level. Next question. Would you do streamer cooking classes where you teach a group of streamers to bake a cake, for example? Yes, I would do that. It would just be better in person. And I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely have a very hard time asking people to do stuff with me. I don't know why, but I do, because I feel annoying. I don't know why. How did you get into culinary baking? What is your favorite bake? Um, I grew up with it. So my mother was a pastry chef. I grew up running around a bakery. My favorite thing to bake is whatever anyone in the room's favorite thing to eat is. I don't bake for myself, I bake for other people. Is cereal soup? No. What's the best takeaway from the streamer awards? that streamers have shorter attention spans than I thought. I have to figure out how to keep them entertained next year. And I need a mic on the audience because a lot of the jokes, I think like they seemed like they fell flat, but they didn't actually, you just couldn't hear the audience very well. And the award show needs to be shorter. I think those are my best takeaways. Who's better cook, Casey or Minx? Uh, actually Casey, I think. Cause Casey tries to cook, Minx just likes to make chaos. She's a disaster. Worst sex story. I think I'm just gonna wheel spin here cause I just like, this isn't the vibe, you know? Here we go. Oh, we just started. I'm gonna be a kangaroo. Thanks, chat. This sucks. I just started the video and now I have to be a freaking kangaroo for the rest of it. I just started. How would yourself two years ago react to your success today? I don't know. It's never good enough. Never good enough. That's what I'll say. If I was like two years ago in, in looking at me now, I'd be like, try harder. If I'm being honest, that's just how I am as a human. What's your least favorite trend in modern interior decorating? I don't like gold. Oh my god, I'm the word I'm losing the word. Uh not accessories, but like you know how everyone and their mom changed all of their hardware in their kitchen to gold? It's cringe. Their kitchen hardware. Everyone turned it into gold. And I'm like, you're gonna regret that in literally two years. Would you recommend going into interior design? Mm, no, it's hard to make good money. Yeah, yeah, if you're passionate. Honestly, go into anything you're passionate about and the money can be worth it. Does that make sense? Like so when I became a wedding cake designer, I was getting paid 12 freaking dollars an hour, but I was happier than I am now getting paid five subs an hour. You know what I'm saying? Did you know you're only 2k subs away from 300k on YouTube and everyone should subscribe? Wow! Guys, don't forget to subscribe. I actually didn't know that. So there's the answer to that question. 
and people should subscribe today. Casey said during the streamer award she could outsmoke Polkwells. Do you agree? I think Casey can outsmoke anyone. I haven't seen Polkwells smoke, but I have seen Casey smoke, and I'm pretty confident in her smoking skills. How do you balance work and your personal life? I don't currently, and I hope to figure it out. Did you really pretend to like chess, Sag? No, I really liked chess. I just get burnt out on things pretty quickly. Actually, that was a good phase for chess. That was longer than expected. I liked chess. I just got bored of it. I do that a lot. Which celebrity is your ideal type? Orlando Bloom. Next question. Least favorite roommate? I want to say, but it could cause drama. So I'll spin the wheel. Spinning the wheel. Yes! We did it! I don't have to do anything. Next. Out of all the jobs you had before streaming, which would you go back to in a heartbeat? Which would you never go do again? I don't think I would want to work retail again. Retail is so hard. Unless I like owned my own retail store, then that could be hype. I actually wouldn't go back to the bakery because you have to be up at like three in the morning and I just can't do that. I guess I just go back to interior design. Why wasn't Minx's interview broadcasted during the stream or in the YouTube video? Great question. Uh, the answer is because there was too many people we interviewed and the producers just chose at random which ones went live. So <laughs> uh, everything is recorded and I get the hard drive tomorrow that has all the interviews. And so that will be made into its own YouTube video. What are your opinions on the geopolitical issues between Israel and the United States and Iran? I don't even know what half those words mean. Oh shit. Where is she? Why is she not on my side thing? Did she go offline? What the heck? Wait, she's not on my side thing. Oh, because I went too low. She's got 11 fing K. She's famous. She's famous. Oh, I thought she was going to be like, because I went so far down. <laughs> she heard me. <laughs> hey. Hi. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Oh. I wouldn't call if I didn't have a very serious question to ask you. Okay. What is your opinion on geopolitical issues between Israel and the United States and Iran regarding the denuclearization of Iran and prevention of Iran building nuclear weapons? Kek W. Don't say Kek W after that. Well, it's uh, part of the question. I think that that's, um, you know, that's a really big question. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's one that I'm not prepared to answer wow live unfortunately i wish i had more to say could you answer that question not live <laughs> no yeah me neither <laughs> all right i guess that's it thank you for the question you're welcome okay have a good stream goodbye now goodbye a weird answer chat not qualified kind of weird i guess next question Biggest pet peeve. I have so many. I have so many pet peeves. Are we talking Ludwig specifically or human specifically? I do hate when people are like dipping their food in an abundant amount of sauces. It literally makes me nauseous. And I hate when people invite themselves to places and I think it's because I'm deflecting because I have too much social anxiety to ever invite myself to anything. So then when people invite themselves, I'm like, you're cringe. When in reality, I'm just projecting. But it, it bothers me when people randomly invite themselves to places. And I'm like, what the heck? Do you like the sun or the moon more? I would say I've always been a night girl, so I'm gonna go with the, the moon. If Ludwig suddenly left you for a male streamer, which new boyfriend would you make you the most upset? Which would be the most understandable? I think Austin would be both of those. Austin would be the most understandable because he's actually gay, but he'd also be the worst one because he's like my friend. I think, yeah, I think Austin is literally the answer for both of those. Can someone explain Nim to me? He's the best. How do I explain Nim? Nim is a streamer from EU and he also runs the Force and Fan Club. That is Nim. Who do you wish you hadn't invited to the streamer awards? I have an answer for this, but I shouldn't say it. I guess we're back over here. I do have an answer for that. 
And it's no one. You guys would never guess, actually. You would never guess. Please don't land on answer, pussy. Eat a pickle. Yes! I'm gonna go get a pickle. Oh, baby! I have two pickles, I have two pickles, I have two pickles today. Hey, hey, I got a pickle. I got a pickle. I got a pickle. Can I open the jar? Mm. Do you think being known as the event person kind of puts unfair pressure on your regular streams? No. I think people just don't watch my regular streams. And they just wait for me to have events, sadly. <laughs> Do you like tea, the drink? Yes, and the gossip, actually. When is the next shit camp? Uh, probably s September. Where outside of the US do you want to visit one day? Let's say you don't need to fly there and you could teleport there. Honestly, anywhere. I want to go to Paris. I want to go to Japan. I want to go to, I think Bali would be really cool. I want to go, if I could go to Africa, that'd be really cool. Australia would be really cool. Banff, I'll probably go to Banff. Norway. I'd like to go to more of Europe. I haven't gone to London, Amsterdam, Germany. I'd really like to go to Germany. That's where my people are from. Favorite Disney movie, Cinderella. Favorite childhood TV show. I loved the Powerpuff Girls. I loved Hannah Montana. I love Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Cat Dog. I love Johnny Bravo. I love That's So Raven. Kim Possible's hype. Favorite E-Rob clip. Probably the one when Emmy calls him a loser. Say loser. Loser. Dada. <laughs> Favorite Harry Potter character? Draco Malfoy. What's your favorite alcoholic drink? Whiskey. Honestly, I love myself a pina colada. It's one of my favorites. How long do you work at Disney? Just a few months, actually. I worked there from a summer. Do you regret going full-time streamer? I don't regret it, necessarily. I think there's like a lot of things in life. You can imagine like different choices you make and how they'd be different. And I think I would be a happier person if I never went full-time streaming. Out of all gaming platforms throughout the years, what's your favorite gaming console? Xbox 360 was the best gaming console. What streamers would you like to get to know better? Any that live in California. I'm not kidding. I would love friends. Worst interaction with an IRL fan? I did meet Prezzo last week, yeah. I don't have one. The only thing I can think of is like, when fans hover for too long, that really sucks. At a TwitchCon, someone asked me to like, kiss their cheek. I think I did it actually. So I was so just like nervous. This is when I was like really small. What will you do if you find out Lud watches porn every day? Literally won't care. <laughs> I don't care. If you had to save one Taylor Swift song from deletion from the inner universe, what would it be? All too well. But I think I would do better for the whole universe if I chose Love Story. I think the universe would be happier with Love Story, but all too well is I would choose a 10 minute version, yeah. What is your natural hair color? At this point, it's like this dirty blonde. It's like this darker blonde. What is your perfect Disneyland day? Which rides, food, etc. Have to go on Thunder Mountain. Have to go on Pirates of the Caribbean. Have to go on Grizzly River Run. Those are my only musts. And food, uh, a not a Dole Whip actually. If you get the lemon soft serve over at the Abominable Snowman on Paradise Pier, the blue raspberry. Yum 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 and uh bangle barbecue you get some skewers you get a veggie skewer and a beef skewer yum 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 so good which streamer do you think deserves a second chance uh i'm just gonna roll so i don't have to answer that because i don't know i don't know what a hot take is gonna be and what what will piss people off oh indie fox that was my answer <laughs> I don't want to do this. A 10? Chat, I don't know if I can do 10, I'll be honest. Here, I'll do a no need. No, but I can. Oh, no! Okay. Well, turns out, I've been going to the gym for three weeks now, and I still can't do a push-up. One. Two.
Those are the worst push-ups I've ever seen. What would your superpower be? Uh, I would like to teleport. What is your fave video game of all time? I think the original Sims. Save Ludwig or all roommates? Like if they're all hanging off a cliff, I mean, I feel bad, but I'm gonna save Ludwig. I think they would do the same thing. So, Taylor Swift wants to move in for a while, but you have to kick out all of your roommates. Do you do it? Yeah, they'll understand. They'd understand. Award show next year, pause champ. Yep. Why did you make the stream awards event? Because shit camp was so small, I could only invite 20 people. And so I wanted to make an event bigger that I can invite hundreds of people to. And that was my answer. I figured everyone likes award shows, but I was only kind of right. Is it hard being in a relationship with another streamer? Yes, because sometimes like people will use you to get to that other person. Sometimes people will like come into your chat and only talk about that other person. And you can't just have your own career without living in a shadow of some kind. And it just is a little obnoxious. Favorite movie or comfort movie? Pirates of the Caribbean. Are you a weeb? No. What is your favorite TV show? The Office. Sorry. Name a streamer you've never collabed with that you would like to. Yeah, I guess I've never collabed with Jerma. That could be hype. Jerma collab. Honestly, Ray collab would be cool. Bruce would be sick. If you could relive one day of your life, which would you choose? Um, I think I've been asked this question before and my answer is pretty simple. Just literally any day that my mother was alive would be hype. I think one time my mom and I went to Vegas and we saw Mamma Mia. And I think uh, that would be hype to relive that day because I spent the whole day with her. What was the worst thing that happened during the award show and the biggest hiccup during it? I think Mitch's, Mitch's mic. And Mitch's mic was... And when people weren't paying attention during the award show, that was very annoying. During like the Legacy Award, you could hear people talking in the background. That was super annoying. What is your last dream that you remember? God, I don't remember any dreams. Do I have to spin if I can't remember? Fine, I'll spin. I'll spin! Oh. I did it. Dang it. How did this get to the front? The fox says something stupid like ding, 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 ding. And I'm mad I had to do that. Favorite desserts? Eclairs, key lime pie, ice cream. Yum. Will you move to YouTube if they paid me? What is it like leaving the Mormon church? Fine. It feels weird around my family a lot, but fine. How much money did you make from the award show? If you count subs. If you count subs, I got how many subs chat? 13K times 250. Er, sorry. 18,000 times 250. 45k, bitches. That's right. Besides airplanes, what are you afraid of? The dark and small places and spiders. What's your favorite fast food place? McDonald's. Would you ever consider moving to Austin? Yes. If I was single, I would probably move there. Who was rude, mean, or left a bad impression on you at the award show? Oh, I have an answer. I know better. Oh, not that one. Oh, that's such a bad one to tweet. Can I answer it? You know what? I'll give you two answers. I think, number one answer, Slicker for making that joke. He shouldn't have made that joke. That was a very cringe and awkward joke. Uh, and number two is that John SF guy that stood outside and streamed the entrance. What is your biggest flaw? Um, my self-confidence is bad. What's your first memory? Eating spaghetti in a high chair. Spaghetti's yummy. If you could only pick one, Taylor Swift is your only friend, but she's your best friend, or keep all your current friends, which would you choose? It's pretty much your answer is like Taylor Swift or Maya, and sorry Maya, but Taylor's the best, so I'd be friends with Taylor. <laughs> Ideal day. A day at Disneyland. Bank account and routing number. Very funny. Very funny. Show a pet. What a kitty cat. I'm very mad. What are you, why?
Do you believe in aliens? Yes. What do you like about Lud? I like his uh, sense of humor or his confidence. He has a lot of confidence and he has a very good sense of humor and he's got a nice butt. What are you most proud of in the streamer awards? It being ran by two women. I think that's hype. Favorite song right now? This is my favorite song right now. They tell you while you're young. Um, good song, good song, good song. What's your favorite and least favorite Marvel movie? Your hat looks nice, by the way. My least favorite was The Hulk. Because when I saw The Hulk, I was with a boy that I had a crush on when I was in high school. And he didn't hold my hand. And we sat next to each other really awkwardly. So that's why I hate The Hulk. And my favorite is Spidey Man. Who do you think is the most overrated streamer? Oof. Overrated means doesn't live up to the hype. Hey, I'm number 15 right now. That's sick. Hell yeah! Past seven days. Oh, look at past. Literally all these streamers I'm looking at do live up to the hype. It's been a long time that I've clicked in on a stream and been like, huh, this isn't what I thought it would be. And you guys spamming like Hassan or Miz or stuff like that, I genuinely like watching their streams. And lots of people like train streams. Like all my roommates love train streams. So if you like gambling, then it does live up to the hype. Artesian builds, do they have a stream? Cause that's an easy answer. They definitely don't live up to the hype. They do stream? Oh, well that's the answer then. Artesian builds is my answer. They don't live up to their hype for obvious reasons. <laughs> All right, done, 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 done.